I listened to Classroom Crush, and the host was Rebecca Blunt this week. And basically, in my podcast, it talks about romantic love from childhood, and it shows how Rebecca Blunt's romantic love from her childhood, in which she loved Aaron Baker, affected her deeply and gave her trust issues, what they're called, basically like abandonment issues. And in each episode, she would just talk about how these different types of people have let her down in her life and how she believes that they are to blame for her issues of abandonment. And I, this is true when she says, everyone has wronged me and not only that, but I trusted them and my expectations weren't unrealistic. So that shows that she believes that everyone had literally wronged her. Number two, who are the speakers and guests and what are their perspectives and purposes? The guests on the show are Aaron Baker, her first childhood love, and Rebecca Blunt, obviously, as the host. And their perspective is to show that Rebecca believes that Aaron gave her trust issues and abandonment issues, but then Aaron believes that he didn't do anything as a 16-year-old boy. And uh, this is true because Aaron says, not only was I a friend to you, but your partner in crime, but I believe that as a child, I didn't know best and that I would be hurting you in the long term. And Rebecca says to that, yes, but not only did you know that, like you said, and she goes on later to say, you hurt me very much. And I believe that if you didn't do me wrong, like in slang, like that, I would be able to love people much more deeply. So their perspective and both of the characters are used to show how differing opinions they have on what and how they wronged each other and what claims or arguments are being made. And basically, Rebecca wants to blame everyone for her trust issues when they aren't to blame. And what strategies do they use to keep her, keep the audience engaged? And how effective are these strategies? Basically, I don't think the podcast was as effective as engaging listeners because people wouldn't really want to sit for an hour and a half and 45 minutes to listen to Rebecca talking about her life issues and how every single person that she has loved has wronged her and she did nothing wrong. So maybe people might be like, maybe you should have seen and learned from the first person or the second person or the third person and let your expectations down a little. And this is true when she said, everyone who I've loved has wronged me, but not only that, but they've embedded abandonment inside of me it sounds a little dramatic but i believe like that's a significant example but i think it's a little like dramatic if i'm gonna be honest so if i think it is that other listeners are obviously going to think that too and basically the proof that i forgot to give earlier about the claim that's being made is that i trust individuals in my life and i don't regret that but i believe that because of them to this day, I can't trust more individuals now, meaning that she believes that they caused her pain. Number four, intended audience. I think this is for people like me who are super into like the rom-com and like finding your one true soulmate, right? So like people who are invested within romantic love. There's people who don't believe in romantic love, like one of my best friends, she doesn't believe that. So I feel like it's for individuals who have a take on love and like crushes and like fun like high school things like that. But I don't think it's for like an audience older than like 13 to like 17 at most because like it's very like dramatic high school love and like childhood love-esque. And I know this because like as like my mom was listening to it with me as a 40 year old woman, she was like, this is so dramatic. And like, I believe her issues were real, but it's that her life is not a movie. So she like brought the reality aspect to it. So I believe it's for people who are like, not immature, but still are like looking for like the perfect one true soulmate. And I believe this because she said when she first, in the first episode, Rebecca said, welcome back guys, like, cause this is a series, but I watched the new like season of it. She's like, welcome back guys. And you're listening to me talk and ramble about the people in my life because you are either hopeless romantic or are just bored and killing your brain cells. 
So I believe it's just for people who are hopeless romantics, as she said. Thank you for listening to my podcast review, and I hope I didn't talk too fast, and I hope you're fine. And I like this assignment. Have a nice day and summer.